So you want to be a singer. Better yet, you want to be the very best singer you can possibly be. But after months and maybe even years of work, your voice is still not where you want it to be. Maybe, just maybe, you've been neglecting certain areas of your vocal development. So what has your voice been missing? Let's find out. Sound check. Check one, check two. Hello everyone, welcome to Voice Essentials. My name is Dr. Dan and I'm a contemporary singing voice specialist. It's my job, indeed, it is my passion to help you get the very best out of your singing voice and that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. So let's get started. I think when most of us start out on our learning to sing journey, we believe that it's all about singing in tune and remembering the lyrics. But after a little while, we start to realize that perfect notes alone don't really cut it if we want our singing to communicate and connect with our audience. So what's missing? Well, there are five areas that every singer needs to develop if they want to be a five-star singer. The first point of development is our need to be personally grounded. In Western culture, we have an uncanny knack of celebrating singers. I don't know why we don't cure cancer and we, we don't keep our streets safe. We've never put a man on the moon, we just sing. I think it's important to remember this when applause comes your way. My dad had a little saying when I was growing up, Daniel, he'd say, never believe your own publicity. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't be proud of your voice, but it does remind us to stay grounded. And keeping your feet firmly planted on the ground requires emotional maturity. This second area of development can be a challenging one regardless of age. When we're young, we need to embrace life's hard lessons and when we're old, we need to remember that we don't yet know it all. Emotional maturity empowers our ability to communicate the narrative of our song with clarity and power. Soundtrack. Of course, the emotionally mature and personally grounded human still needs to develop their technical proficiency if they want to be a five-star singer. Things like singing in tune and vocal health are all important if you want to sing well, but remember, this point is only one aspect of your singing. Don't allow it to outweigh the other four points. To do so is to become an unbalanced singer. The fourth point of our five-point star requires us to be stylistically expressive. If the character of the singer is the foundation and the technical proficiency is the framework, then the stylistic expression is the cladding and fascia. Style is what our audience sees and hears. Ultimately, we don't want our audience talking about our accuracy of note or our excellent breath management any more than we want people discussing the cement slab that our house is built on. No, we want people engaged in our stylistic expression that gives rise to our message. Now, before I give you the fifth and final all-important point for your holistic vocal development, make sure you take a quick moment to hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying and are inspired by today's video. Soundtrack. So singers should aim to be personally grounded, emotionally mature, technically proficient and stylistically expressive. There is one final point that will make you and your singing really stand out from the crowd be artistically expansive. Freedom in creativity is the holy grail of all art forms. It's one thing to record a cover and replicate another singer's rendition of a song. It's another thing entirely to make the song your own by adding your own artistic flair and nuance. As a singer, your capacity to artistically express yourself is restricted only by your inability or your unwillingness to work on the other points already covered. Interestingly, when a singer becomes artistically expansive, they often draw attention because their voice is now communicating with clarity. This in turn will require the singer to once again contemplate their place in the world, bringing them full circle to the place at which they began their journey. The singer once again needs to work on remaining personally grounded. Has today's video spoken to you? Which of the five points requires attention in your overall vocal development? Please take a quick moment to write your thoughts in the comments sections below. I know everyone here at Voice Essentials will benefit from you sharing your experience. 
And if you're not already a part of our Growing Voice Essentials community, then take a quick moment to hit the subscribe button. I release new videos just like this one every week. So if you want to develop your voice and improve your sound, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Voice Essentials video. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.